What's up, y'all? It's time. It's fucking time. You can tell by the title. You can see that dope-ass thumbnail. Thank you, Tim. It's fucking time. PCP Season 3 is here. It's now. The draft has already gone down. If you're seeing this the day it came out, the draft happened the last Saturday. So, I've had some time to ponder over it. I've made a trade or two, but, um, you know, let's just jump right in. I'm hyped. I'm fucking hyped. So, we did win Season 2, so we got our franchise pick, which was Cartana. If you look at the kill board from last time, Cartana got more kills than anybody else in the entire fucking league. I would be a uh, Captain Silly Pants if I didn't franchise this Pokemon. Like, seriously. Like, fuck. No, look at that attack stat. God damn it. Speed in isn't bad either. HP's meh. Other two are meh, but it's that attack. That's all that matters. Man. Oof. It's Cartana. It's a Kame, actually. So, I yeah, will just go ahead and... Yep. You already know Akame. It's um, it's not allowed, but it's supposed to be shiny because it looks more. I like the actual character, but Cartana is just a Pokemon that. It's um, Chris actually said um, we were talking about our drafts, and I said I don't need a Steel type because I already have Cartana. Chris said that's not a Steel type. That is Wincon type. I was like, yep. You know what? Boom. So this is our <laughs> Grass and Wincon type Pokemon. And I had a whole big draft plan. I'm not gonna bother boring you guys with that, but I had I had a plan. Um, basically, I just wanted to pick the most broken thing and then build around that. So I did a couple of, depending on what I could get, I made a couple of uh, adjustments and whatnot. But our first pick was Zygarde. Now, if you guys remember Nathan last year, he used the living shit out of Zygarde and swept a bunch of people, wrecked a bunch of people. Most of the time. This guy just fucking wins on its own. Like, it's, it's moveset is crazy, it's stats are retarded. Like, look at the... Jesus Christ, man. Like, it's the lowest thing is special attack, and that's still, like, average. You know? Like, that's not a bad special attack. You're still You can still do some damage with, like, a hidden power or some shit. Like, I don't know. But, um... Unfortunately, we can't use power construct, but we do have the aura break. So, that'll not come in handy, but oh well. We got 1,000 arrows, that's all you need. This is this is the move set right here. You're gonna want 1,000 uh, arrows. You're gonna want 1,000 uh, arrows. You're gonna want 1,000 uh, arrows, and you're gonna want 1,000 arrows. <laughs> that is, that's the set right there. And then we'll just uh, slap on a... Yep, this, this right here. This is the prime Zygarde set. Boom. <laughs> But if you don't know, and you should know if you're watching my channel because we played OU before, Thousand Arrows basically is the only ground type move that will hit flying type Pokemon, and then it will take away their flying type after they've been hit with it. So, for instance, if you hit a Skarmory, which normally would not be affected by a ground move, then it loses its flying typing, leaving it as steel type, and is now weak to your move. What was once a counter is now weak to your move. So, Zygarde's fucking awesome. It's bulky as shit. Hey, hey, whoa, what the fuck was that? Okay. Y'all all saw that. That was rude. That thing just interrupted my video. I'm definitely not <laughs> re-upping my fucking antivirus anymore now that you're going to blatantly disrespect me like that. But, uh, yeah, Zygarde is fucking Zygarde, and it's awesome. It gets stuff like E-Speed, but we're not going to be using that. We're going 1,000 arrows the whole time. It gets D-Dance. It gets Coil. Uh, I guess you can go Core Enforcer if you want, but who the fuck wants to do that? You know, you Dragon Tail stuff out. Uh, Earthquake. Ha. Extreme Speed is always great. Um... You can go for Facade or something like that. You know, Glare is always nice, 100%. Glare did not get nerfed this this year. Just fucking uh, T-Wave did. So we'll keep that in mind. I didn't even know this guy got Haze. Holy shit. Yeah, he's got, he's got all kinds of options, you know? So Zygarde is the front man of the team, and it's going to be damn good. Like, fucking shit. Especially paired with something like Akame. Like, these two things are going to destroy each other's counters. So... You know, what would stand in the way of a Zygarde? Someone's, like, really bulky water with, like, an Ice-type move, right? Well, Akama is just going to Leaf Blade your dick off, and then we're going to sweep with Zygarde. So, they, they work very well together, even though they're both physical attackers. They will help, you know, kill each other's checks and whatnot. Then, if y'all heard that, that was my stomach, not my ass. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Somehow, by that, so first round went by, I saw Zygarde, I got Zygarde. It was either Zygarde or Tapu Bulu. That was going to go first round, and I thought it'd be cool to have Bulu to boost up my uh, Akame on the grassy terrain, but then I was already fucking just really weak to fire. Like, I can't I can't be doing all that. 
So we got ourselves a nice Hoopa, which is kind of the opposite of a Kame, right? Because it has super crazy uh, special defense, and, and you know, well, obviously the uh, stats are a little different, but very, very poor defense. And a Kame is like the opposite, with very, very poor special defense. So we got, you know, we got some, uh, we got some stuff. And if you notice, our first three Pokemon are all four times a week to something. So we got Ice, fucking Bug, and we got Fire. So that's really funny. So it's actually, you know, you don't really want a bunch of four times a week Mons on your team. But it is kind of nice because then your opponent has to pick a hidden power that he wants to put on each Pokemon, you know. So if you, they want to, you know, get a hidden power Bug, they can't run hidden power Ice or hidden power Fire. It's going to have to be something. So we'll see how that goes. But a Pokemon that got something like U-Turn as well as like Flamethrower and then Hidden Power Ice. So I don't really know of a Pokemon that gets all those, like Greninja. <laughs> Even though Greninja is banned in the Torrent version didn't get drafted. If someone had Greninja, that's gonna put in a little work versus me. That's gonna be a pain in my ass, but. Akame, we already covered. Um, I'm not even gonna look at its moveset. Let's see what Hoopa can get. You know, I haven't really looked at it too much, but. As you can see, uh, actually, we'll talk about the stats for a second. It has crazy high attack and special attack. You're going to have a hard fucking time figuring out if I'm going to be running special or physical. Maybe I'll run mixed just to fuck with you. I don't know. I know you're listening, Chris, you little piece of shit. But, <laughs> so, it gets all kinds of moves, man. Just every coverage you can imagine. Dark types and psychic types, well, mostly psychic types, get excellent coverage. And then dark types uh, can usually access like fighting moves and stuff like that, so that's pretty cool. So Hyperspace Fury is just going to fucking destroy something. Uh, it's physical, and then stuff like uh, Dark Pulse is going to destroy stuff if it's um, special. So that's cool. Uh, Magician. I don't really see this having too much of an effect on stuff, but if I do get knocked off or something, or you know, if I use up an item, maybe I have like Power Herb or some shit, then... Um, I don't know. It'll be cool. Then I can steal somebody else's item. Or, I don't know. I know it works a lot better with regular Hoopa because uh, oh, you can you can trick stuff away and shit. But anyways, uh, UU comes around. It's time to pick. And like the only Pokemon that I knew that I wanted the entire time was Infernape. And wouldn't you know it, the first person to draft an, oh, a UU pick takes Infernape. So I was like, well, fuck. <laughs> There goes my fighting type, there goes my fire type. So, what am I gonna do? I looked at the uh, the tier, and the best, most hard-hitting thing in there was looking like Mamoswine. Last year, I had a bit of an issue uh, having rockers. It was basically like, I had to have rocks on my Doug Trio, or I had to have rocks on my Amistar. So, something that's heavily offensive like this, that's gonna force a shitload of switches, is gonna be great because I can get rocks on a free switch, and then proceed to, you know, Earthquake somebody's tits off or something. I don't know. But you know what Mamoswine does. Earthquake, fucking, um, Icicle Crash, Ice Shard, all that stuff. Pills, Weed, all that shit. Uh, it also gets Knock Off. I didn't actually know it got Iron Head. That's kind of cool. Um, Super Power, Stone Edge. Pfft, I'm gonna use Stone Edge. But yeah. And then returning from last season, as well as Dyes League that I was in, like, last year or some shit. We have Sylveon, aka Princess, or Bruce Six Jenner, but I think we're gonna go with Princess just because it's a little easier. Also, I forgot these guys. So, if you've seen the Pokemon XYZ anime, that's not how you spell that. You're gonna appreciate this, and if you get the reference, then you're fucking awesome. The Squishy is Zygarde, and it's a great Pokemon, and it was dope in the anime. So, Squishy it is. And then Hoopa. Wait, yep, I can't spell for shit. Spoople! Don't be sad, Pater. That's why they call it Spoople. You know, you can't be sad. That's why they call it Spoople. You lose to this. You can't be mad. It's super unbound. It works. Memoswine is going to be Ray Romano. Romana. Ray Romano, because everybody loves Memoswine. Come on. And then, obviously, Princess. This thing is just here for wishing. I needed a fairy. Honestly, this is one of the best fairies, in my opinion, because it's just so goddamn bulky. You can slap choice specs on it and just blow something away. And even with the pixelate nerf going to 1.2 power, uh, you don't really see a difference in the 2-hit KOs that it's getting, especially in the spec set. So, uh, this guy's going to put in work for us. It always does. You know I love passing me some wishes, and um, we can still baton pass in this league as long as there's no stats on there, so I'll be 
you know I'm going to be getting some momentum with this guy. It's going to be fucking awesome. I think you need to be shiny at all times, obviously. Um, so yeah, Wish Protect, Hyper Voice, and then Filler is all you're going to need on this. Sometimes I'll just, I won't even put Protect. You know, we're, we're real ballsy out here. Then, I needed a Mega. It was between this and uh, Mega Aerodactyl, but I didn't want to add another Water slash Ice. Well, this is Ice Week too, but I didn't want to add another, like, uh, another thing that didn't want to switch into Scald on the team. So even though this necessarily isn't the bulkiest Pokemon, it does hit a great speed tier, it has decent bulk, and it gets U-turn to go along with my Volt Switch that I'll get later. And uh, Accurate Hurricanes are dope as fuck. Like, that's awesome. Heat Wave is going to hit every time, that's going to be cool. Whatever fucking, um, whatever hidden power I need, we can do Quick Attack if I want to go Mixed. But this is probably just going to be kind of similar to Zygarde. Just <laughs> six Hurricanes, you know? Six? Okay, well, it's not letting me do it this time, but yeah. That's what this guy's for. His name is Freedom Bird. So that's what that guy is. So these are my first six picks. Three OU, three UU, and I'm on I'm Just with these, I'm already extremely happy. I think... You know, I, I don't like to toot my own dick or anything, but I might just have the most stacked, at least first six picks from just about everybody. Hobby's team is also really scary. Uh, Chris's team is pretty scary, but it's also kind of cancerous or whatever. But Then, we have our next picks. Since season one of the PCP, I've been trying my goddamn hardest to fucking get Jolteon. This Pokemon is so good. The speed tier is fucking bonks. 130 speed time with like Tapu Koko and Crobat and shit. Special attack isn't bad at all. A lot of people don't necessarily like Jolteon. They prefer stuff like Raikou, but I really like Jolteon. Uh, its speed is so high that you can usually run Modest or something like that, so that you don't necessarily need, uh, you know, like a, a speed boosting nature. And then I have a couple sets that I'm not going to reveal, even though a lot of you probably already know them, but I do have a couple sets for this guy that I really love to run, like, Jesus Christ. So, I have U-Turn with Mega Pidgeot, I have Baton Pass with Sylveon, this kind of completes the uh, the momentum, well not completes, this adds to the momentum core with the Volt Switch, and this is just so fucking fast, and his name is Scoot. Because in the Pokemon Cypher, Scoot's verse ends with him saying, My pokes are rare and always on Jolty. That's what I think of every single time, because this motherfucker is Jolty as fuck. This is the Joltiest Pokemon there is. And then, next pick. Um, I didn't even mean to, but I accidentally sniped fucking Andre. Um, I needed spikes, and I needed a grass type. So, I wasn't really too worried about it. I kind of saw it, and it just made sense in my head. This Pokemon is fucking amazing. It lets me put stuff asleep. It is actually pretty offensive and has reasonable bulk, at least on the Spadef side. So I can run like a uh, like a Spadef, like a bulky spike set. I can run offensive with Life Orb, it gets natural cure for the bulk set, and technician to power up those hidden powers. That's basically like having stab hidden power fire. So this guy is basically Greninja when it comes to that shit. But it's just, I, I love Roserade, man. I had. Roselia in our PU League last year, and I didn't really get to use it that much, so I hope that Roserade will put in a lot of work and actually get to do stuff. Also, I think I already said, it lets me put stuff to sleep, it lets me leech seed stuff, I can leech storm somebody's tits off, uh, and then, you know, sludge bomb coverage is always good too. And, you know, grass grass types hold a, hold a special place in my heart, because, you know, 420 plays it, but, oh, this guy's gonna be shiny too. But uh, it's no Tangela, you know. So I don't have a nickname for this guy yet. If you have a dope Roserade nickname, like let your boy know. You know, I only em employ. That's not the word, but I only employ the finest of nicknames on my Pokemon. That's like honestly, I could be a shit ass player. I don't give a fuck. But when I'm playing somebody on the ladder and they're like, dude, that nickname's hilarious. It's like, all right, well I basically win the battle because like I'm funnier than you. So eat my shit. <laughs> So if you have a good Roserade nickname that's clever, it's creative, let me know. I got you. I'll give you a shout out or something. I don't know. Next, I needed a fighting type. If you, I'll leave the link to the Google Doc in in the description. So if you want to go look at everyone's teams, you can. And if you look at Dan's team, it's fucking gross, man. That's just it's a bunch of pink shit. He's got stuff like Chansey and 
Alamomola, even though I had Alamomola last year and I was actually telling him it was a good pick for his team, but uh, yeah, he got Alamomola and he got a bunch of pink shit, so I needed a good solid fighting type, and in the RU tier there was not very many left, so I went ahead and got Pangoro. Also, Pangoro was the original parting shot Pokemon, so that'll be dope. It's another momentum kind of user thingy that will let me, you know, just momentum around on people. And I can Iron Fist Drain Punch the shit out of people. <laughs> and, uh, that was a hiccup as I said people, but... Drain Punch the shit out of people with Iron Fist Boost. Mold Breaker can Earthquake, you know, like Rotoms and shit, and then, um... I don't know, maybe someone has a... Has a ghost that I don't want to hit with a dark type move. I can't think of an example, but uh, I guess it has Scrappy too, so that's cool. And this is another Pokemon I don't have a nickname for, but I got something in the works for this guy though. But mainly, mainly Roserade. If you have a good Roserade nickname, let me know. But also, you know, let me know about Pangoro nicknames because don't tell me Kung Fu Panda either. Like that's fucking lame. Don't. I don't want Kung Fu Panda on my team. I want something hilarious. So. His attack stat is nothing to laugh at. High HP, parting shot, all that good shit. Iron Fist. It's a great Pokemon. It is time for weak to fairy, but I do have a poison type as well as a steel type, so I'm not too worried about it. And then I got a bunch of bulk and shit too. So, next on the list, we actually have 11 Pokemon, so this is, you'll see. But Next on the list is Vaporeon. Now we have Vaporeon in the Alolan Prebank League, and it's a great Pokemon. If Baton passes, it is a water immunity. It's bulky as fuck. And it completes my uh, my evolution trio that I apparently wanted to have, even though I unintentionally drafted it. But uh, its HP is so high that even its lackluster defense is still pretty damn bulky. So as long as you go bold 252, 252, it's gonna eat some hits. But I ran a couple calcs, and I noticed that Quagsire actually takes the same hits about five to ten percent better. So. I went ahead, and it didn't start until week two, but I went ahead and traded Vaporeon for Quagsire, because Quagsire literally has the exact same ability and Water Absorb, and it also gives me a nice unaware Pokemon. So, like year, like season one I had Ditto, so people couldn't set up on me, right? Season two I had Sigilyph, so people couldn't set up on me. Season three, I got Quagsire, motherfuckers cannot set up on young Sheldon. You can't do it. I am unaware of your situation. So, uh, this guy is gone. Quagsire is in, and you know you already know we're just gonna be clicking Scald, man. Scald, I'm gonna burn you every time. Go mixed, a little earthquake action, probably. Oh, what? We got Encore. That's pretty dope. I can roar people out. I think it's roar. Does it not get roar? <laughs> okay, so it doesn't get roar, but that's fine. Does it really not get roar? It doesn't get roar. Wow. Well, how am I gonna face people out then? What's the point of being? like, unable to be set up on if you can't just toss motherfuckers around. I don't know, but it's a, it's a Quagsire. You know what it does. This is Quagsire. This is the Great Wall of NU. This is NU Lugia right now. And I don't have a good nickname for this guy either. Like, I have, you know, I just name it Quagmire or, like, Derp or something, but this, that's not what I'm about. I'm about grade A nicknames. And I just punched the microphone, so that's on me. But that's Quagsire for you. His stats aren't bad. He's kind of, he, Quagsire is one of those Pokemon that's like Clefable, where looking at his stats, it's not really that impressive, but when you're open up the damage calc, you're like, oh shit. <laughs> so whatever I'm invested in, it will wall, and it'll be cool. Then, I, for the very last pick, I took a look at the team, and I needed a Rapid Spinner. I was going to get Armaldo, but that went pretty fast. So the only other Pokemon that I really wanted with Rapid Spin was Sitmonlee. Now... Honestly, this is way better than uh, Armaldo. I'm glad I ended up with it because of stuff like Reckless and stuff like Unburden. His speed tier is pretty damn good, so I don't really need necessarily the Unburden set to outspeed stuff. I can outspeed all the bulkier things. I can go Reckless. I can high jump kick the shit out of everything, man. Like, high jump kick is going to do so fucking much. This is a 20% boost, right? Yeah, 20% boost on a... Uh, 130 base power move like that's fucking ridiculous man that's what is that that would be adding 26 so it makes it 156 base power plus stab so if that's the way it were I might have done that out of order but that is a very strong move and Hitmonlee's attack stat is nothing to scoff at if, if you scoff at Hitmonlee I will find you and I will kick you 
like he would. <laughs> but, uh, so usually I name my Hitmonlee's Token Black because of the Pokemon Cypher 2013, where he says, kicks in my closet, Hitmonlee not living here. But on the latter, I've gotten quite a bit of feedback that uh, that's racist and I shouldn't have that, even though uh, it's not. But I'll think of a better one for Hitmonlee. So, again, comment section, let me know. These last four Pokemon, I need nicknames for. Grade A nicknames. But <laughs> it's been 20 minutes now. That about does it for the draft analysis. Uh, again, thank you, Tim, for that art. It's fucking dope. I don't know how you did that, but it's tight as fuck. Uh, this guy's coverage is pretty well, pretty good as well. It gets some priority and stuff. So go ahead and like, subscribe, do all that bullshit. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye forever.